Hello everyone, my name is Shivam Kisu and I am studio and cleaner artist. Today I will show you how to paint trees and foliage in my way. So let's get started. For my drawing stage, I am using sap green mixed with burnt sienna. Reason I am doing this, I want to cover the 70% canvas with greens and also it will help me to maintain my color, ha color harmony. Now I have started my main drawing. For that I have mixed burnt sienna and an ultramarine blue. And for drawing trees I am using 3 number filbert shape brush. With filbert shape brush you can control a thick and thin paint easily and also it's easy for you to draw a small branches or small leaves. Now my drawing stage is done. For the first layer, I will use ultramarine blue and, co and cobalt violet mixed with sap green and flake white. And then slowly you have to add vertical strokes.
एज यू कम डाउन यू नीड टू मेक इट लिटिल अ न्यूट्रल अ बाई मिक्सिंग रॉसियाना एंड ब्लैक एंड फ्लेक वाइट एंड वाई यू वाई गोइंग अपर्ड्स यू नीड टू मेक इट लाइटर बाई एडिंग डेविस ग्रे एंड फ्लेक वाइट to create effect of foliage i am using fan brush while doing this you have to move your brush slowly and simultaneously as per as your composition and also you can use directional slope if necessary now i am adding distant trees but let me tell you one thing if you are a beginner then start from distant object first and then move uh, slowly move forward to foreground objects by doing this we can create a sense of aerial perspective and it's very easy to create depth in this way i am using lighter values in the background keep it lighter and neutral this way you can create a perspective easily trees and the foliage are the most difficult part to paint because if you are painting on a background and if you want to separate those things in a in a single tone then it's very difficult to do so i will suggest you to do some black and white sketches and then start your final painting it will also help you to separate two distinguished trees or a distinguished view A level between foreground and background, it term as mid ground. Now I am adding some foliage in mid ground. While working in a plain layer painting, make sure you are, you you paint according to the layers. Because of this approach, you can minimize a confusion between a different objects. If if you are following this approach, your colors will not get muddy or chalky. Now I'm adding main focal point of my painting. 
सो फॉर दैट आई एम मिक्सिंग अल्ट्रा वॉलेट ब्लू बर्न सीएना एंड बर्न टम्बर एंड अ स्मॉल टच ऑफ रेड एंड देन स्लोली यू हैव टू मूव योर ब्रश एज पर एज योर कंपोजिशन एंड देन यू कैन एड विथ यू एड विथ एनी स्मॉल ब्रश और एनी मीडियम साइज फिल्टर्ड ब्रश Now I'm adding the foreground. For that, I'm using mixture of primary colors and leftover palette paint. It will create a beautiful neutral shade. For that, you need to drag your brush slowly as per as your composition. And now I'm adding the reflected light. For that I'm using ultraviolet blue plus leftover palette color with the help of small filter brush. You can easily add details. And also for the final branches color, I'm going to use that small filter brush to add light portion and the small amount of details.
and for the main foliage part i am using burnt dumber and sap green and with the help of fan brush you have to drag your fan brush left and right slowly and to create soft edges you have to you also have to roll your fan brush slowly as per as your composition it will help you to uh, uh, soften up the edges After that, I am adding sky holes. For that, I am using flake white, a mixture of burnt sienna, and then also a small touch of yellow. And after that, I am adding in the light, a lighter parts to create usual overall depth. For the final touches, I am using a palette knife to add vines and a smaller, a smaller branches. 